in this video I'm going to be customizing my shoes. So these shoes are actually pretty dirty. I cleaned them but they're still pretty dirty. I was they, like these are really dirty. I wasn't even able to clean this part so this part is still dirty. You guys want to see like just not the only dirty part about them. But these shoes were a mess before I cleaned them so at least they're pretty white. Now. Let's get started. I think I'm going to go with a shade of white Fancy materials also. I don't have like a whatever that paint is called. I'm not gonna buy any. I'm just gonna go for it. So my first stroke of paint. Alright you guys, so now I'm just going to add a few cats to it because I love the cats. Just look at my channel. This one I'm just letting dry right now. And then I'm gonna add the cats in a nice red and maybe add a few more. I'm trying to prove that you can easily paint shoes with very budget materials. I got a box of brushes, box of random paints, and I already did this, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, so so far the shoe is looking pretty good, but I ran into a slight problem. While I was cleaning it, I used soap, so now there is some bubbles, but I'm just hoping that those kind of go away. Alright, I just finished the second one. Looking pretty cool, and yeah. So yeah, I think I'm on a pretty good streak, and now once these are both dry, I'm going to add... Alright, so I got a red Sharpie here. This Sharpie should, um, I'm gonna kind of out, that's about the same color. I'm going to draw some cats, and then I'm going to go over it in paint. So, uh, let's go. Alright, yo, just finished painting the cats, and I decided to go one blue cat and one red cat. And also, on this side, I am going to do this bottom line red but for this one I did it blue so yeah I'm, I added these cute little cats right here yeah they aren't the best but I mean they're cats I gotta let people know that I love them then I'm gonna go cat cat all around contrast colors also always use tape I was a little rusty on my tape it was kind of wet for some reason it still is, so I'm gonna have to do another coat when that dries. So, for this side, I'm definitely going to make sure that I make it as even as possible and, like, you know what I mean, just making a nice cut and I'm gonna dry it so that the red paint doesn't end up being wet. Alright, yo, uh, this is looking pretty good. I got the red side done. Real nice cut on both sides. I'm gonna add a little more. It may be kind of useless to paint on the bottom. But I'm gonna try to do like a. I already got this little blue thing going. So I'm gonna make like a weird drippy effect. If I can. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay, so this just proves how much I love cats, but they cannot be, you know, drinking that. But hey, my sister once drank like an entire glass of that, so you'll be fine, buddy. All right, y'all. After a solid hour of work, lots of cutting, I have finished my shoes, except for one thing: the laces. So I'm gonna quickly look up a tutorial on how to dye my laces. I have one red, one blue. I'm thinking this one red and this one blue. That's just completely random. I just made it up. But, uh, yeah. Let's go do that. 
you guys i finally finished my shoes got sick and the cats are actually made but it does let people know that i love cats because i do it's the truth honestly i'm pretty shocked on how these turned out i got a good cut here i uh, did another layer on the blue and now it looks beautiful maybe i should do another layer on the red but yeah y'all this is looking insane Thank you for watching the video, uh, hit that sub button, and peace out.